My wife Jade and I traveled to three popular honeymoon destinations in search of the most romantic location possible so that you guys don't have to. Follow our journey and find out which is the best with us. This is The Honeymoon Series. We just got into Mykonos yesterday. Today we're going down to the old port and the town to take some photos, and it's why we're up so early. We want to get that nice sunrise and hopefully beat some of the traffic. So yeah, we're gonna head out and bring you guys along for the day, and you can experience our honeymoon with us. took a little extra time this morning <laughs> and it worked out fine because we ended up taking some really beautiful photos just outside of our hotel um, and it turned out really nice so it ended up being okay but now we're downtown um, and we're gonna do some exploring. We had a little change of plans today. We decided to end up in Little Venice by the end of the day, but the town is actually so small that we ended up ending up there like first thing in the morning. We actually did find this amazing local cafe where we had breakfast and it's called Vigera Cafe. Jade got eggs, Benny and I got pancakes and honestly it was one of the most amazing breakfasts I've ever had. So I highly recommend going there. Um, <laughs> it's been interesting and fun getting used to the different ways that people live here, uh, like the tiny roads, um, watching out for traffic that come through what looks like a sidewalk. Brady and I watched a couple of YouTube videos before coming to Mykonos, and one thing that we noticed was everybody was ranting about how expensive food is here. Um, so far, Brady and I have been to a couple restaurants and it's definitely all about what restaurants you go to. Uh, we've noticed the prices are pretty comparable to Canada, uh, so we're not you know, too much out of budget, which is nice, but maybe we'll have to update you and see if uh, it gets more expensive as we go. But right now, it's uh, not too bad. <laughs> We just got back from the main town in Mykonos, so we went to the windmills and checked those out. It was extremely windy over there, I mean, ideally that's why they were placed there. But uh, yeah, we got some amazing photos and it was somewhat busy, but uh, what did you think of the windmills? They're really pretty, um, definitely very old, 
Uh, definitely not used uh, right now, kind of shut down more of a just touristy destination of something that used to be um, something probably used quite a bit on the island. Um, yeah, and right next to the windmills was uh, Little Venice. Um, so that was really cool. It's a bunch of buildings right on the water. Uh, looks really neat. When we sussed out the uh, outdoor cinema actually, and we we're planning on heading back there tonight and having dinner. So that's really exciting. After checking out the cinema, we went to, what was it, Saki's? Saki's. Everything you'd need, and it was only six euro, and it yeah. fed us both, so yeah. pretty good. It's kind of the fast food of uh, the Greek island, which is, uh, works for us. <laughs> we got some gelato. Yes, we did. Um, Brady, of course, got bubblegum flavor, classic. Um, and I tried the pomegranate, because I saw some pomegranate trees uh, growing locally here, and it, yeah, inspired me to choose that flavor. <laughs> we're now just back at the Airbnb, and we're planning on doing some swimming, hanging out a little bit before we go back to the town tonight. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was going to say. like it's kind of early out right now but it's actually only seven o'clock in the morning we are trying to get a head start on the day go out to see a few churches get to some sick photo spots for sunrise it is windy and a little bit cold jade and i weren't too prepared for the weather although it is mid-20s the wind will absolutely destroy you and you feel so cold so i mostly pack shorts but i do have this trusty hoodie jade's all bundled up too so we're going to hop on the quad, we're going to head out and hopefully get some sweet drone footage on the quad and follow us adventuring through the island throughout the day. Focus Beach, uh, which was a little further that way, and then we continued down to the beach that we're currently at. We followed some goats down here, we walked around some of the cool rocks that they have, got some amazing views of the Aegean Sea. The original reason why we came down here was to find a cliff jumping spot and uh, St. Nicholas Church. Um, but it turns out we think we got the wrong island. <laughs> um, I think the church is in Santorini, not Mykonos. So we'll have to update you once we're in Santorini to see if we can find it there. Uh, we did find a church at the other beach, but it's not quite the right one. <laughs> so now we're gonna head over and probably get some breakfast because I'm starving. <laughs> We just finished breakfast and we drove up to the northeast part of the island to Tagani Beach. And as you can see, there's not a soul in sight here. It is crazy to me that if you go really anywhere else on the island except for the main town part of the island, you will find empty beaches that are totally private. Jade and I have been adventuring all day and it is completely dead. If you're into adventuring and like privacy, 
then Mykonos is a totally good option for you because it has been super fun just taking out the quad and exploring and it's just been so private. If you like to have alone time like Jade and I on your honeymoon, then definitely do this if you're more the adventurous type. We finally made it to St. Nicholas Church. This morning, Brady and I had a lovely breakfast in town, and then we went over to Super Paradise. Uh, we rented two day beds, and that was 50 euros for both of them. Uh, the water there was very beautiful. I got some snorkeling done, some fishes in the water, but nothing crazy, nothing like Hawaii or Australia, but uh, definitely super clear water, beautiful to swim in, uh, very salty. I got lots of water in my mouth while snorkeling by accident. Now we're at St. Nicholas Church, uh, which was about a 25 minute drive from uh, Super Paradise. And we might, uh, do some more swimming here, we'll see. So is Mykonos a good honeymoon destination? In my opinion, yes, it is a good honeymoon destination. It just might not be the best one, depending on what you're looking for. For instance, if your honeymoon is planning to be long, I'd say over a week, and you like to explore, you can see pretty much most of this island in a few days. Five days total, but four, I'd say. Uh, three or four full days of exploring, you can see pretty much everything you want to see on this island. If you're more the adventurous type and you're looking for a longer honeymoon, then this might not be the destination for you. But if you just want to sit back, relax, you know, do some shopping, taste some of the amazing food they have here, swim in the ocean, then yeah, I could definitely see this place being uh, high up on the honeymoon list. Yeah, I think we really lucked out with our Airbnb flascos. I would highly recommend them uh, to anyone looking to go to Mykonos. They have amazing food, probably the best food we've tried on the island, to yeah. be honest. Um, they have a beautiful pool and amazing sunset views. Um, so honestly, most of our time here has been spent going out really early in the morning and exploring, and then in the afternoon just coming back here to uh, swim in the pool and watch the sunset. I really enjoyed our time here. It was really fun. It's all what you make of it. I would say if you're looking for um, relaxation, uh, they do have a lot of really nice day beds and areas, but you will be putting down quite a bit of money if you want to go to the prestige beaches that don't have as many rocks. The sun here also gets really hot. Um, even though it's been kind of windy and chilly most of the time we've been here, we're both very sunburnt. <laughs> so I would highly recommend bringing lots of sunscreen and, and lots of layers. <laughs> Definitely be sure to bring layers if you're planning on coming and stay at a place like Flascos <laughs> where you'll have a good time. So now we are off to Santorini. See you guys next time.